Hello Internet! So, if you're watching this video, I'm guessing it's because you want to edit your videos like this and this and this, not this, but this! So here's my top 5 tips. Number 1! Kicks! One of the most common things you'll see in any edit is a huge explosion that happens whenever they shoot. Easy ways of performing these kicks are to keyframe the scale of your footage to suddenly blow out on the kick or add in a CC radial blur and keyframe the amount to suddenly blur on the kick and ease it out. Or both! Number 2! Slow mos My favourite part! Slow mos are most commonly used after the kicks and they're so freaking awesome! So to perform one of these, all you need to do is simply select your layer and hit control Alt, T, to bring up the time remap. Now you'll just set a keyframe where you want your slow-mo to start, and another where you want it to end. Then just drag it out a bit. But wait! This will look really choppy. And so to fix this, simply hit this magic button. And this one too. It's that easy! Number 3! Color grading! Since editing is all about making your clips look awesome, you're gonna want to go ahead and color grade them. A lot. A good way to do this is to use the curves effect and mess around with that a bit. Also, the tint effect to make your clip one dominant color. Another popular method is to find presets that other people have made on the great, great interwebs. interwebs. Number four, sound design. This is actually a very underestimated part of the process. In fact, in a lot of films, what you hear can actually be more important than what you see. So let's be professional. Don't use the gunshot sounds from your raw footage. If you've added slow-mos, they'll sound terrible. terrible. Instead, Go find yourself some gunshot sounds from the great interwebs. I often like to use explosions or shotgun sounds instead to add more explosiveness. Number five, angles. Angles are great to fill in that blank space before your drop, or allow some space for some cool opening titles. You can get these by reenacting the clip you have in a private Mac, opening that up in theater mode, then using the free camera to get cinematic angles of the character or just of the map itself. And well, that's it really.